So, Andrew, um, many, many people might know that with Ingrestic we're involved in the sale and the export of livestock. Um, and you've already mentioned that, you know, one, one of the key things is to identify the best genetics in the herd and the ones, the, let's say, the worst genetic in the herds. And so that comes back to the end. For a, for a farmer who's selling stock or selling some in-calf heifers, for example, if they have surplus, and many do, you know, trying to identify those ones which he should be retaining in his own interest and the ones that should be offered for sale. So this is an example of a catalogue page and it really like, you know, when, when animals are offered for sale typically this sort of information is provided to, to us who, who we can then forward on to a buyer. So what would you look at here in terms of analysing whether this is a heifer that should be retained or not within the herd? Yeah, um, I suppose you have, I suppose you have the EBI here, you know, uh, uh, reasonable EBI in fairness. You have the reliability of the animal. Um, so look, you'd like to see that a little bit higher, but you know, she's a single animal. So, and then you have her milk sub-index, or fertility sub-index, or calving, or beef, or maintenance, and that's linked to her, her live weight. So this animal would be efficient really, because it's positive. So she's not a very heavy animal. Uh, her management then, you know, is her temperament and her health in, which is good, which is her somatic cell count and her, and, and her, uh, her legs and feet. Yeah. So, um, looking at the milk sub-index here, so uh, she's minus 285 for milk, uh, she's 2.27 for fat kgs and 2.34. So, like this milk here and the fat percentages give the k kgs of fat and the protein percentages and this negative volume here uh, gives you the protein kgs so right so this animal has super uh, protein uh, and uh, reasonably good fat and it, it can be seen down here from 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 the sire here like that or the dam that you know the dam has really good good protein percentages excellent over nine percent in a lot of cases but the volume is pulling this animal down and it's pulling these figures down so we'd like to see the kgs of fat look 15 really and the kg of protein 8 you know so probably just a little bit shy of milk I know we we're talking about milk but there there is a balance you you need some milk in the system there but you know as long as it's it, it's not excessive you know is the most important thing there so um, you just like to see these a, a little bit higher so that that's animal is a good animal but it depends uh, on the farmer there, you know, the genetics potential could be uh, a lot better because these are, these are just okay. low. So that's, an that's one example there. Okay, so here we have an example of, again, a heifer from the exact same herd as the first one. Um, how would you analyze this one? Or which, and, and really, the conclusion we want to come to is of the two, which one should be retained and which one should not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. look, another really good animal, practically the same EBI. Uh, slightly probably more information on, 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 on the animal there so it's a high reliability and um, you know similarities there uh, and milk something next 104 fertility is a little bit lower so like you know you have to analyze this as well you know what I mean uh, the EBI is so that's the good thing about the EBI you know it, it factors in both but for an efficiency level there you know you've minus 25 but like you've unbelievable kgs of fat uh, you know where you want them to be and exceeding it and excellent kgs of protein and um, excellent fat percentages compared to the last animal uh, just slightly less protein percent but you have super kgs of milk solids with negative milk so there's 30 kgs of milk solid here with negative milk and I suppose this is what we're you know what we're trying to I suppose push forward is that you can have a super efficient animal and she doesn't have to be positive in milk uh, and like, I suppose that's, that's where we're trying to, you know, show the genetic potential there of, of, of animals in your herd, um, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, a really profitable animal. Okay. So the interesting thing for me is that both of those have practically the same EBI. So if EBI is solely used as the currency or the, or the, the check to see whether to sell or not to sell, there's a lot more, there's a lot more information deep within the index that'll definitely allow you to make a more informed decision there and that definitely like definitely like no you could say this animal has slightly lower fertility mm. you know but like fertility is hugely important but like i suppose fertility has only about a three or four percent heritable trait when milk production 
uh, has a very high heritable trait. But fertility is hugely important and, and, and couldn't be emphasized enough that it is really important. So it's all about a balance, you know what I mean? Um, and, and I suppose this is the, mo the most important thing there is, you know, a balanced breeding and ba balanced decisions. And, uh, you know, you're, 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 uh, you're on, I won't say you're, you're on the road to success are, are a big, huge improvement. Okay, yeah. So but it's analyzing the data is probably the most important, okay. you know. Um, and taking the time to analyse it is the thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. And look, you know, there's, there's super cows in the herd, but they, in, in, in most herds, but the biggest problem is that there's a lot of bad ones as well, and they're pulling down the, okay. you know, the whole, the whole system, like. Okay, super. Thank you.